you came across this question in your chemistry exam be it you are preparing to write the jump exam post UTME exam or any other chemistry related exams how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says the empirical formula of an oxide of nitrogen containing 30.4 percent of nitrogen is so what they are asking us is to determine the empirical formula of an oxide listen carefully of a what of an oxide of what nitrogen now first of all whenever we hear this word oxide it means that it contains two elements listen carefully oxides contains how many elements two elements and what are these elements it is very easy you can see from the word oxide the dominant element here is oxygen listen the dominant element here is what oxygen oxide oxygen but they will not specify the other element that the oxide is made up of they said oxide of nitrogen meaning that this particular oxide is made up of oxygen and nitrogen are you following me and from this question they are saying we should calculate for the empirical formula of this oxide remember empirical formula is the simplest formula of a compound it is the simplest form a compound can exist do you understand whereby for molecular formula it is the actual form that compound exists now without even you know solving this question we can actually look at the options to actually determine the empirical formula but let's solve it is important for you to know how it is solved and it's very easy first of all what we have to do is to rewrite the elements and what are the elements involved here nitrogen and oxygen the next thing to do is to is to write out the percentages of the elements given are you following me so here what do we do they say the empirical formula of an oxide of nitrogen containing 30.4 percent of nitrogen meaning that the percentage of nitrogen in that oxide is 30.4 percent are you following me and now if you observe did they give us the percentage of oxygen no we are not giving now some students when they see this question they will think the question is not complete please note the question is complete what you have to do is first to determine the percentage of oxygen in this particular compound which is oxide of nitrogen remember i said that oxygen is most dominant in any oxide do you understand so definitely remember you know already that percentage is over what 100 percentage is over what 100 this is something you should know so definitely the oxide of nitrogen that means the percentage of nitrogen plus the percentage of oxygen in that oxide of nitrogen should give us 100 percent and from the question we're just giving the percentage of of nitrogen which is what 30.4 percent plus percentage of oxygen which is not given is equal to the total which is 100 so what do we have to do next very easy so percentage of oxygen should be made subject of formula whereby for we to get this 30.4 percent should cross over this equality sign it is positive here so when it crosses the equality sign change to negative so we are having here to, uh, the percentage of oxygen to be 100 percent minus because it has crossed minus 30.4 percent i believe you are following me so 100 percent minus 30.4 percent that is 69.6 percent so percentage of oxygen is 69.6 percent so this is the percentage of oxygen then you write it here so 69.6 uh, percent so the first step to take when solving empirical formula is to divide by the atomic masses of the element so the question you ask yourself what are the atomic masses of this element so the first step is divide by atomic mass of elements so we divide through by the atomic masses so what's the atomic mass of nitrogen it is something you should know the atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 what's the atomic mass of oxygen something you should know it is 16 if you don't know it now know it from 
you watching this video so moving further let's divide so 30.4 divided by 14 that is 2.17 you stop there 2.17 you do the same for this 69.6 divided by 16 that is 4.35 4.35 so we've gotten the answers when we divided by their atomic masses so moving further, the next step to take here when determining empirical formula is to now divide by smallest, by the smallest value. You divide through by the smallest value, making it says that comparing both of the numbers, you look for the one that is smaller. This is smaller as compared to this. So you divide through by 2.17, you divide, you know, 2.17 divided by 2.17, you divide this as well, 4.35 divided by 2.17. So when this cancel this, what do you think we have? We have one now, that's 2.17 divided by 2.17, that is one. So we note that, and here, 4.35 divided by 2.17, uh, that is what? 4.35 divided by 2.17 that is 2 so we got 2 so, so in summary you can see that the ratio for nitrogen is 1 and also the ratio for oxygen is 2 so bringing this together what becomes the empirical formula very easy empirical formula will not be equal to N1O2 and I believe you know that N1O2 can also be written as just NO2 because 1, N1, 1 is negligible, it's not important. So we'll just eliminate the 1. So the empirical formula becomes what? NO2, which is option C. I believe you know how the question was solved. It is very easy. Get ready for your own practice question. Okay, guys, here is your own practice question. So you solve and provide the answer in the comment section. It is extremely very easy. It's going to be the percentage that will change it to 43.8%. And it's not of, for nitrogen now, but rather it is of phosphorus. Phosphorus is another element. So the question is the empirical formula of an oxide of phosphorus. Okay, phosphorus containing 43.8% of phosphorus is so here are the options. Uh here are the options here. Option A is PO2, this is P2O3, this is P2O5, and um option D is let's say none of the above. So what you have to do, do well to provide the answer in the comment section is very easy. Now, if you find my video lesson helpful, do well to click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching.